of the shops and want to pave the road in front of it again. They're doing what's called the shim mech, shim layer. Put a thin layer down, they're going to let traffic drive on it for a little while. Let the traffic kind of pound it down into the low spot. And then they'll go, go by with their final service layer. Uh, we got four loads today. Sounds like a lot, but it's not that bad. Uh, like this load, the first load here is two stops. But the first start delivery is a split between neighbors. Then uh, I think the third load is a single delivery. So it's not as bad as it sounds. But we're six miles from the first one, first two I should say. Uh, so let's get going. Yeah, this driveway I'm backed into, that was fun, trying to do it. traffic with school buses. At least the buses stopped, let me do what I needed to do. I, to the bus drivers, I appreciate it. And by the way, uh, today's my daughter's first day of being a junior year of high school. Um, wish all the kids going back to school, best of luck. But uh, this one here, I got dropped two off, just slide it in the garage and our next door neighbor is I gotta, I need the pallet jack because it could go in the garage. Okay, we're only half a mile to the next one, two pallets outside. those three deliveries are done and that's it for this load yeah I got four pallets on those are going down to the warehouse for a later delivery uh, so we're going down to the warehouse we got a truck coming in to unload will it be there when we get there I don't know if he's not it'll give me a chance to do some rearranging but let's get down here and see if he, he beat us or we're gonna beat him okay change of plans I just got a phone call Truck's not gonna be there for at least another hour, maybe hour and a half. What we're gonna do is go down there, we're gonna throw the next next load on, go deliver it, and hopefully by the time we get back to the, to the warehouse, the truck will be there. Okay, I can take these four off here and put four of those and five of the crab over there on the other side. 
the ones that were buried earlier. I'm gonna throw you up here and let's get this thing off, stripped off and get it reloading, get these two delivered. Today is going to be miserable for me. Not just because school's back in session, <coughs> excuse me, but there was a police incident at the bridge at the state line. They call it the Scatequa River Bridge, or they call it the Big Bridge. Involved the, the unaliving of a male subject who was suspected of doing the same thing to a female in New Hampshire. Now in the process, they found, unfortunately, an eight-year-old in the back of the seat that suffered the same fate as the two individuals. Now again, I wanna state this is just a rumor that I heard it's not confirmed that it was a husband, wife, and child. I hope it's not, and I feel for the family. So the traffic's gonna be pretty horrific today for me down this way. So please keep the family in your thoughts and prayers. No child deserves that. Yeah, this one here's a teacher. So well, let's get this off so he can get back to school. Maybe he doesn't want to.
three and a half miles to the next one, and I gotta correct myself. That customer is no longer a teacher. He is now retired. Retired after 38 years of being in the same school district. Congratulations on retirement. Let's get over to this next one. gave me gave, went to a vacant lot the house that was on there burned a couple years ago the house has been knocked down but it's just a pile in the basement hole so that was the address I was given that customer you just seen I delivered to last year but it was under a different address the town changed street names and they haven't updated anything for the GPS so it's Oh well, nothing I can do. Truck's down at the warehouse. Let's get down there, get him unloaded. And as I unload him, I'm gonna be loading myself. Because I need six pallets off of that load that truck got for our next delivery. Well, we don't have to unload him. The driver unloaded himself, but left a mess. Everything is just strewn everywhere. We gotta reorganize. Instead of taking it out the truck, putting it away, now I've gotta I didn't take all these out of here. Fortunately, this is what I need right here, these one ton pallets. Those ton and a half, so I gotta get out. And I'm gonna go out here in the yard and start reorganizing out there. I gotta take stuff from out there into here. So it's, I appreciate the guy, the driver. It's not as bad as it sounds, but still, it's gonna take me time instead of just taking it off the truck, putting it away. Now I gotta go out and grab stuff. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Yeah, the driver unloaded himself. Nothing was noted on the paperwork about this. 
This corner completely destroyed. So far, that's the only pallet I see. And it's not that I'm putting the drivers down or anything like that, I'm loading. I used to unload myself too. But I would also note stuff like this. So the end, end, the end user, the cust our customer, got to say, hey, look, this was, they did, delivered me a damaged pallet. If I write this on the paperwork, it shows that it was damaged on the truck. So it wasn't us that did it. I got a few more, a few more to do here. I see busted wood on the ground, so I didn't know if this pallet was broke or not. But now you see, as I said, we try to keep a record of everything. So if I did it, I admit to it. You've seen that many a times. If I damage something, I admit to it. But stuff like this needs to be documented. So it shows that, hey, look, it wasn't on us. But anyways, I'm gonna finish getting this stuff put away. I got a couple more to put away. I think, and we're done. There, now I have to repeat myself again. You see, I got the LaCrete put away where they're supposed to be. Is it ideal? No. Why the driver put the uh, LG in front of the crab, I don't, I could tell you, I don't know, that. definitely not the same product. I'd understand if he just stuffed it in that bay, if it had LG, just stick it in that bay, fine, no problem. But he stuck a different product in there. I got the yard cleaned up and opened up. Part of the agreement with this having the warehouse here, we have to keep this road, thorough roadway open. That's a uh, CNC shop. We got a welding shop over on the other side as well. We have to keep this open so trucks can get through. That's why you saw me grabbing a bunch of stuff and moving it up here. Moving the LG up here out of the way. A lot of this stuff is going to be disappearing here within the next couple weeks. I think next week here, a lot of those NV and NVH are disappearing. A lot of the crete is going to be going out. I think we've got a load of crab coming in, but I think most of that's going right back out. And we got customers getting ready to start taking their wooden sons. So that big pile over here is going to be clean, getting cleaned up in a hurry. Speaking of hurry, let's get the truck. I'll let you know where we're going next. All right, now we are... Uh... 20 miles away from the first delivery of the no, other the only delivery of this load. Six pallet delivery. Let's get going up there and kick it off. If this one's an outside delivery, it goes out behind the house. Ever wonder what happens to the shrink wrap on some of these pallets? I hell. You see some trucks going down the road, they just flail in the breeze. This one's a little more excessive. Goes from the pallet, through the pallet jack, up over the donkey down to the donkey, down and around, up to the pallet jack, and then back down.
going 25 miles back to the store throw that last load on shows it as four stops yeah this is one of the fun ones there it goes inside a woodshed but I've got to pull some stuff out with the machine to get the stuff in so you'll see what I'm doing I gotta go back and check my phone, see what it says for do here. I didn't expect I have to clean the woodshed out, which I just did, so I get the stuff in. I gotta think, see if in the text it says to pull that one out. I know to pull the partial out, but I don't know about the full one. I'll go check it out. say if it's inside or outside but being the bio blocks I'm guessing it's gonna be an inside delivery yeah this is gonna be a fun one it's a new one to me uh, one of the other guys delivered last year here I have never delivered to this one it's pretty steep I say pretty steep it's steep so watch the tan pallet watch this one right, watch that pallet right there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that one second because that one moves so easy. What she wants to do is I gotta, you'll see what I'm gonna do. She, she wants to try to squeeze everything I can between the porch and her camper. So I'm gonna put the Canawick in first. That one has a plastic band wrapped around it. It holds it together a lot better than the NVs. The NV8, or the NVs, NV8s. Those are eights, because that's a tan cover. The NV8s move real easy. So I'm gonna try to set this Canawick in and then push it in with the, the NV8s as far as I can reach, try to help them out.
miles over the next one. Two pallets, and this one says inside garage. Yep, this one here, I definitely need the pallet jack. It's too tight for me to get in, and it goes in the back wall of his garage. <laughs> That's it for today. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.